It's a lot harder for him than me. Once I get out there, it's just another game. It's really difficult for me as a father. He's got to sit behind the bench and watch his son skate around all game. Now I'm paid to stop him from having success. Brown tries to get it to go, scores! Patrick Logan Brown! For Ottawa 67's coach and general manager Jeff Brown, facing his son Logan in the Windsor Spitfires is a nightmare. But the opportunity to coach the team he grew up watching is a dream come true. I'm really excited to be back in my hometown. Obviously, remember my childhood and coming to all the 67's games and that kind of thing. We didn't have the Senators back then, so, uh, you know, the 67's were my kind of NHL team that I followed. You know, I could tell he was really excited. I knew it was uh, really special for him to come back and coach the team that he, you know, he grew up watching and, and uh, cheering for. To be behind the bench and to be in charge of the, the whole program is pretty exciting for me. It was gone a long time. I left at 15, 16 to start playing hockey, and so it took a, took a long time for me to come back, almost uh, too long for sure. Being the son of an NHL defenseman meant Logan moved when his dad did. He was born in Raleigh, North Carolina, and spent most of his childhood in St. Louis. But Ottawa has always held a special place in his heart. Every summer growing up, we'd come to our cottage here, and um, you know, even even Christmas time, we'd come up here and, and make a rink out on the lake and watch Sens games whenever whenever they were playing. And it was uh, you know, it was really special to come up here and. Um, yeah, I think definitely it's uh, it's a second home for me. My favorite times of him as a child, uh, and I, I know they are for him as well, is coming up here in the winter time. We'd come up for three or four days. We'd uh, shovel the big rink off in, in front of the cottage, and they'd play pond hockey all day long. And every Friday night, we'd come into a '67s game, and I mean that to me was, uh, you know, my my favorite time uh, as far as uh, his childhood and his hockey memories. As Logan's own career began to take shape, he spent his summers at the family cottage and sought out Senator strength and conditioning coach Chris Schwartz to help him get in shape. When I moved up here after my first year of junior, I asked around and, and I heard he was the best, so we went there and it's, uh, it's been great. He's helped me a lot. He's uh, really taught me how to be a pro. You know, around the hockey circles, there's, there's nobody better, so he was the guy that we chose and, and he uh, uh, he's, he hasn't disappointed. He's been great for Logan. It was evident that he was a very good athlete. We need to give him some more horsepower. And he, he knows that he's a big guy. He's grown a lot. And then I think with Logan, you know, the light bulb went off, I think, when he sees other players and, uh, and how they take care of themselves. It was good to just be a 17-year-old and, and seeing all the what the NHL players do and, and their routines. I think it, uh, it helped me a lot and gave me a little bit of an advantage to to see, to see that at such a young age. After two impressive seasons in the OHL with Windsor, Logan's NHL dream became a reality and a homecoming of his own. The Ottawa Senators are proud to select from the Windsor Spitfires, Logan Brown. This is definitely a player we coveted. To draft someone of Logan's stature, skill level, hockey sense was something that we felt this organization couldn't pass up on. It was pretty crazy, you know, it took a little bit to sink in and the next day I woke up and I realized I was part of the Ottawa Senators and, you know, it was almost surreal. It's something you dream about playing for the, the team you grew up cheering for. For him to get uh, drafted to a city where I was coaching and where is my hometown, where I grew up and, and certainly his hometown, pretty special and, and uh, obviously my hope would be that uh, I coach the 67s for the next 15 years and he plays for the Senators for the next 15 years and, and be 15 minutes apart and, and always have the cottage and always have the memories and I mean it'd be incredible to live that dream.